Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? This is Reese or Cub and welcome back to our Ticket Let's Play Adventure episode 10. It's the big the big Christmas special, I guess you could call it. I'm just up here enjoying the the lovely fresh air. Boy, look at that beacon shining. Isn't that beautiful? Yep, we, uh, we're here at the Christmas party. It's actually been going for a couple hours now. I just forgot to start recording. But uh, if we take a look down here, we'll see it is in full swing. And um, they actually did a pretty good job decorating. I was surprised. They kind of just gave Bob some some streamers and a few saplings. And he pretty much went crazy with it. It looks really good, though. But uh, as you can see, I already gave Ralph his gift. And he loved it. He, he set it up as a beacon immediately. And um, set it up here in the middle so that everyone could see it. And actually, I think it, it, added, it adds a little something something to the whole Christmas experience. Look at that. So that's pretty good. So I think we did good there. Bob is over there talking to Ralph right now. And as you can see, he already assembled his gift there. And uh, he seems to like it. Now, they gave me something cool. Check this thing out. This is a party starter. This was my gift from uh, from Ralph. And apparently, aside from putting on hats, Mist Wizards aren't really very big partiers. Uh, they actually, they're kind of like, you know how if you go to a dance, there's all the nerds that stand up against the wall and they don't dance? Well, they gave me this so I could get the nerds off the wall. And this is actually a lot of fun, so watch. All right, nerds, time to dance. Oh, isn't that great? Oh, that's fantastic. I actually have quite a few of them, but um, that was just, I, I put the rest of them in my inventory. Just thought I'd show you guys what one of them looked like. But yeah, that's pretty cool. And uh, normally you have to get one of the, the giants to take care of it for you, if they will. Uh, I, I try not to kill them because the longer you keep them alive, the longer the party lasts. As soon as they die though, they just tend to go back to the walls. But uh, yeah, so the party's in full swing, everything's going great, lots of gifts for everyone. And, uh, well, you know, let's go talk to the guys and see how they're enjoying Craftmas. Hey. Ah, oh, hello, Cub. Hey, Bob, how are you doing? Oh, hello. Thank you for my gift. Oh, you bet, man. I hope you uh, get some use out of it. Oh, I bet that I will. You know, my parents probably never bought you anything. Yes, that's right. Yeah, I sort of figured. Such a sad guy, Bob. So, Ralph, what's... I mean, is there any, like, craft mist traditions or anything that we normally partake of in the mist wizard halls? Is there any, like, crazy stuff? Well, we exchange gifts. Oh. And we've already done that, so that's pretty much all the tradition that I can think of. Uh, so occasionally someone will get drunk and dance on the tables. Like that guy over there? Oh, you, you haven't even seen anything yet. Just wait till the night goes on. All right. Sounds like a plan. Oh, by the way, someone was here earlier looking for you. Really? Yes, a small dog. Uh, they, they dropped off this. A dog? Yeah, well, a wolf. Uh, he dropped that off and said it was for you. He said it was for me? Well, we pointed at the two tag and it read to you, so... Wait, wait, you're telling me a, a dog dropped me off a gift? Yes, I suggest you open it. All right, well, it's not the weirdest thing to have happen. What have we got here? Four Cub by Unknown. Ooh, creepy. Can I help you? No. Want to go mind your own business? No. Okay. Gee. Hello. All right, uh, let's go somewhere we can read this in private. Maybe it's like a love letter or something from a secret admirer. Hey, hey, hey. Let's open this thing up. Let's see. Dear Cub, you may or may not remember me. We only met once in passing in what appeared to you to be a dream. Huh. You need to know that you were in grave danger. An agent of the Chaos Guild has been sent to capture you. She is ruthless, cunning, and evil. She will not rest until she has you in her grasp. Perhaps you've heard of her brother, Iroth. Oh, snap. She has already entered your world and has placed a spell around it so that no one can leave, or enter or leave, I should say. Um, I have tried to pierce the barrier, but so far I have not succeeded. Assuming you are reading this message, it means I was able to at least send through a messenger, a mutual friend of ours. Hopefully you'll remember him. I know it has been a while since the two of you last worked together. Dog! I, oh, oh, uh, uh, Buttercup! Oh my gosh, you you, mu you must find a way to escape the world, and if you can, save the Mist Wizards. They are important. They do important work for my order, and the thought of losing any of them is unbearable. I wish you luck. Know that we are continuing to break down the barrier, and if we succeed, we will be sending reinforcements to assist you. Again, best of luck. The Stranger in Pink 
Stranger in Pink. P.S. Sorry about the mis the spelling mistakes. If any, I'm not familiar with your language. So Buttercup, yeah, it is Buttercup. Buttercup had to translate for me. And that was difficult as he is a dog. The Stranger in Pink, no way, that couldn't be. I think it's real? Hey, 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 don't run away. Oh no, don't do it. Don't do it. No! Great, well if this is true, that means we don't have a whole lot of time. We need to hurry. Um, Ralph, Ralph Bob, look, I I need to tell you something that I haven't told you before. Oh, all right, go ahead. Look, well, a little bit over a year ago, I got into a tangle with an evil wizard. Say, what now? Yeah, he was harassing a village and I killed him and now his brother's after me and then his brother failed, so I guess his sister's after me. Whoa, slow down, Cub. Look, I don't have time. Uh, um, look, there's an evil wizard after me right now. She's here, and she's put a spell over the world. No one can enter, no one can leave. And if we don't act fast, I've got a bad feeling she's going to do whatever it takes to capture me, which may include killing everyone else. Oh, dear. Well, if we can't escape, we'll, we'll have to fight. No, that's that's probably not going to be a good idea. I agree. I'm, I'm not a much of a fighter. I'm more of a lover. Right. Well, look, I have a plan. I might be able to shut down her shields and get everyone out of here, but I'm going to need a whole lot of resources and a little bit of time. Do you think you can help? Well, you already know all of our resources are at your disposal. As far as time goes, well, we can send out the golems. They should be able to stop her for a while. And of course, the wizards have some fighting skills. I don't. Well, the cub. I don't know exactly what you've gotten yourself tangled up in here, but... We're willing to help if we can. All right, good. I've got something at the house that I need to go get, and then I need you two to meet me in the basement. All right, Cub. Okay, thanks, guys. Y you bet. All right. Look, I didn't know that this was going to happen per se, but I had a feeling something bad may occur in this world, especially at the start of 5.1, where we met Bob and we met Ralph, and we j That's strange. Look, I, I wasn't sure what to expect. I thought it was a little weird that we found some talking people on a server, wasn't the first time that happened, so I got Josh on here to give me a hand working on a little something something, just in case something like this ever happened. And there is there there is something, a little safety, jeez, a little safety mechanism I put in place. Where is it down here? Um, you guys may remember the last time that Iroth's sister attacked. Protocol Epsilon. There we go. It's exactly what we need. Like, a lot of you guys aren't going to like what's about to happen, but this may be the only option we've got. We're going to have to shut down the world. Now, this protocol here, I could just plug it into a computer, it'll run it, it'll shut it down, and it'll kick me out. But if we're going to have to get all the wizards out too, we're going to have to have a little something special cooked up. And I think I've got an idea. Alright, looks like all of this is wired up correctly. Let's see. Alright, looks like just got these three wires to go. Alright, and for the folks at home... Let me talk you through this while I run over the the last inspection. Uh, sometimes talking out loud can help you help you think through things, and maybe explaining it to you guys will help me make sure I've got it correct. So, Protocol Epsilon, you'll all remember it. It shut down the server by overloading it, and um, kicked everyone out, and pretty much saved all of our Minecraft characters' lives. We're gonna do it again here, except for it's not gonna be quite the same because I could easily shut down the server, but at the same time, I have to actually make sure the wizards get out. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna insert protocol epsilon into that disk drive. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna activate it. And all these banks of computers and everything should hopefully scan the DNA of our two fine gentlemen over here, Bob and Ralph. And it'll scan their DNA and then it'll locate everyone else like them. So all of the villagers from Bob's DNA and then all of the wizards from Ralph's and it'll hopefully teleport them into this book stand. Uh, it's got a book here that'll take them back to their home world. That's the plan at least. I'll be over here on this separate pad and it should just boot me out of the world while at the same time overloading the world and crashing it so that whatever her name is, Iroth's sister I guess, who apparently has no name or at least we haven't heard it yet, will be stuck here. Although I was thinking she'd be stuck in the protocol Epsilon world we did last time. In the last tech classic world but that didn't work. Uh, it doesn't matter. It'll crash the world, it'll get them back to their world, and it will hopefully kick us out as well. And that's the plan at least. So let's get the disc in there. Alright, and that'll go as soon as we throw the lever. I guess this is our goodbyes. Uh, Ralph, 
Bob, it's been it's been good knowing you guys. Uh, you too, Cub. We'll see each other again, of course. Um, maybe. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye, Bob. Look, if you ever come across... No, I guess... Never mind. Best of luck out there. Alright, thank you. Alrighty, guys. This is gonna be it when I throw this lover. To be honest with you, I don't think I can handle starting up a whole other tech at world. I mean... It's been fun, but... I guess everything has to come to an end at some point. And if that includes this, well, at least we get to finish it on our terms, not theirs. At least we end it in victory and not dead or worse, whatever it is they're going to do if they catch me. Besides, it's been a good series. I'm proud of it. I'm going to miss it. But this is what's got to be done. Looks like after a whole year, this might be the end. Well, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. All right, everything's activating. Whoa. Okay, that, that that's a good sign, guys. Don't worry about that. That that's supposed to happen. That's yeah, that's the science working, guys. Whoa. This isn't over, Iroth. Not by a long shot.